Welcome to another episode of Gray Hack. Today we are trying to breach into the education system, change some grades. So you'll see on screen, it's pretty simple what we're trying to do. We're trying to connect to the network, get into the education records, change Madeline's physics grade, get out and make our money. We've got all the details here, what we need to do. We got 30 minutes to do it or else we got a punishment. Let's get started. Okay. So the client wants to change some grades in his academic record. The re remote IP of the victim is there. The LAN address where the database is located is there. If you cannot access directly, you can try to access through a teacher's computer in the local network. The record to modify belongs to Madeline and we want to change the physics subject or physics score by at least one point. So we are probably just going to give her an A+. Plus. If we're going to mess around in there, we might as well do it big. So let's open the terminal, get started. And let us end map where the database is located. Paste that in there. Let's see what we've got. All right, that is unreachable. So let us do it for Madeline's. So Nmap, we're trying to get information on this IP address, see what ports are open. So you'll see here, this is for Madeline itself. Well, at least the victim. I'm not sure if that's Madeline's. Uh, what if we go who is? Who is should give us a little bit more detail on who is actually the owner of this IP address. Let's see what we get out of there. Okay, so yeah, see Madeline's not the owner of this. Um, from Nmap, we got info that these ports are open, our SSH, SMTP, and HTTP ports. And then from who is, we learned a little bit about who the admin contact is. So from there, let's try to dig a little bit more into exploits on these ports. Um, because if we, I think we have to get in and then we connect to the database at this IP address. So to get in, I believe we should, we should have some exploits in our file explorer. I'm trying to remember what we have for port 22. Do, 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 dum, bum, bum. Okay, let's see what this scan library is. Let's see what we need for it. We need the library file. Scan router. So I'm just putting in these commands to get a little bit more information on what we need to input to use this command. So we're gonna still use that same IP address scan the router see if we get anything there uh, there's no firewall rules there that we need to worry about hmm I'll make an archive folder soon and then let's see this one so we need an IP address and a port I don't know this one I don't believe will get us into port 80. Or sorry, I don't think it'll get a, into port 22. I think it gets us into port 80. But we're gonna try port 22 to start. Okay, so nothing found. Let's try port 80. Okay, no vulnerability found. Something else we might be able to do here is a social engineering attempt. Let's see, so we have the email format so we can reach out to this individual. Let me grab that whole email address, copy that, and we're going to write an email to them. And we're going to say we have login issues. And my name is Madeline. Let me actually open another mail browser, make sure that's right. 
So I'm Madeline. I don't know what's happening. I'm at my workstation giving me issues. Let's see if we can send it. Well, I guess logging in as Mad Madeline isn't much help. But let's see. This might help us. Okay, there's no one with that name. So that's not the right path. Oh, I'm going to just say sorry. Oh, wrong, wrong person. <laughs> Move on from there. The hardest part is always getting to the network, obviously. Okay, let's read our original email again. So we've got the IP of the victim. We've got the exploits that are on there. So we, the ports that we hit, we hit 22 and we hit 80 and there was nothing found. Maybe we need, might need to go to the browser. Let me see what we've got as far as exploits go. Eventually what I'd like to do, I think it'd be super cool is to actually understand these exploits a little bit more in detail and be able to code them ourselves. But we can look at SSH, SSH exploit in the proper version, 1.4.1. Uh, prints the contents of the file mail.txt of all users in the computer. I don't think we need that. Take advantage of a new vulnerability in SSH service to inject a new password to a registered user. Um, we could do that. We could try to get into the admin's account. I think we just want to get access to the shell. So let's start there. Purchase that. Save it in our file path. Okay. Close that down. Do do. Okay, so this is what it was. LE base or la base. So for that, we need the IP address, which I believe we still copied. No. What was it? 88.12.246. 0.253 and the port was 22. So this is an SSH specific breach. Uh, no active root user found. Okay. Huh. So we could check some of the other open ports like HTTP is also open, but let's go SMTP. I haven't had an attack on that port. And that's an email one, so it may be more email specific. So we're gonna probably run across the same issue if there's no admin users there. Maybe we do need to get fast uh, access to the password contents. Let's see, we're gonna buy this one, save it. So we're gonna try to get access to the password file path. So let's run that. Same IP address, 88.12.246.0.253. 88 Oops, I need to pour in there. So that's 25 for SMTP. Okay, so we've got computer obtained with credentials from guest. We'll see if that gets us anything. Let that run for a minute. I'll throw it over here, show the progress on that. The land where the database is located is there. So we need to get into this victim computer, I imagine, and then remote into that LAN. Hmm. Let's see. We'll close this out as well. well now it's deciphering user root. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, as we play this game more, I definitely am going to start modifying those password files myself, or those uh, command files. So I've joined some forums for this, and you can definitely run these 
like run your own commands and not pay for them in this shop, which I think would be more beneficial. Um, let me get my end map pulled up here for that IP address. Awesome. Now we're deciphering more users. So I think that will actually be pretty helpful. We'll give that a minute to run. And I think we already have some exploits downloaded for HTTP. We've got decipher, so we should be able to decipher some password file on here. Do -do 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 um. Okay, see these are all the passwords for root, for this person, for Lipsy. Alright, so we've got a bunch of credentials now. So this exploit was definitely helpful for getting the password files. So from there, can we just SSH? What's that command need exactly? Yeah, so let's Try as 10B. Oh wait, we need the IP address. So we're gonna to try to SSH into the database here. We'll do that. Oh, we need the username and the password first. That's 10B. I think caps matter here. Got the password. And then port 22 is open, so we're gonna to try to get in there. Oh, the IP address is not found. Um, okay, I don't think, let's see. I don't think we can get it into this IP, but I could be wrong. Definitely could be wrong. Okay, so we are in. So, let's see. Let's just open the file explorer. Or no, I want to do this without file explorer. So I know there's a command that I can't remember off the top of my head for getting into the file path. And it's probably just a basic command. <laughs> uh, Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah, you'll see the all everything we have. We have desktop downloads, config, and studentsviewer.exe. So that one definitely seems like it's gonna be helpful. I wonder if I could just run file explorer.exe. I think I can. Yeah. So this is a just an easier way to get into it. But I don't want to go that route. But I'm pretty sure for this one you can just type studentsviewer.exe. All right, so you can see all of our students here. Here's Madeline, 67, going back to school. Oh, I should have, I bet I could have gotten information on her credentials, but I used the wrong format. I bet if I would have, it's all last name. I should have seen that when I looked at this individual. Yeah, it was all by the last name at the email. Okay, anyway, we can improve Madeline's score. Let's give her some more. Let's give her 9.9. .9. Save that. Okay, so we got into the network. 
We got into the records. We changed her physics grade. Now let's get out. Are there any? I'm gonna see real quick if there's any audit files. <laughs> All right, while we're in here, let's see if we can cause <laughs> some more trouble. Is this a bank login? What is this? I guess let's open a, we might be able to do something with this. So that's mine. Oh, I probably shouldn't show that. Somebody smarter than me is going to be able to take everything out of my bank. So if you're watching on Greyhack, spare me. You don't need to take everything. I'm new, newer to the game. But if you want to, you can. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's stop the time. We got in. And... All right, that is time. We got there. We got the record changed, and now I think we just need to reply. Done. All right. This client was satisfied with our job. Income has been added to our account. I made it. I made it. Plenty of time to spare. Um, I've done one other of these before that didn't end up getting posted just because the quality was so bad, but I did not do it in 30 minutes. It took me 34. So this is a big improvement over what we had done before. So just to recap today, we got into the network. We used Nmap and who is to understand what ports are open, and then also understand who the admin of the computer was. We ended up getting into the education records with an exploit we bought from the browser. Um, basically gave us the password files for all the users on the network. We were able to see what everyone's credentials were. And then with that, we logged into one of the users and getting in there allowed us to see their programs with the ls command we got to see all the programs we saw they had a i forget exactly what it was called but it was a, a ui that popped up and showed all the students grades and then we were able to get in change madeline's physics physics grade got out let them know we did it and made the money so we got it all taken care of today in just over 16 minutes so pretty good time well done and that's it